Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to fly my DJI Phantom 4 drone uh, over water as I try to follow my boat. Uh, the original plan was to go out into the ocean and do some high speed uh, boating with the drone. But the wind, uh, it was a great day for kite boarding, maybe not such a great day to uh, work with the drone aircraft. So uh, we'll make the best of it. We, uh, we do some basic maneuvers where we test active track. Uh, results are really good, so uh, take a few moments. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, untie them. Free from the dock and backing up. At this point, the drone is not tracking anything, it's just floating. I reach over, grab the control, rotate it around. The objective of the flight was to test the active tracking of the mouse. One of the things that I found is that the drone is especially good at tracking the boat due to the large blue rectangle on top of the boat camera was able to fixate on the blue roof of the boat which made it uh, I think very effective in tracking hoping in future tests to be able to take the boat and track the vessel, uh, the vessel uh, at a higher rate of speed out in the, uh, the ocean so here I am traveling north up the intercoastal and the drone is in uh, active track mode. It's, it's tracking me. What I'm trying to do at the controls, I'm trying to see if the drone will allow me to manipulate the camera or uh, the altitude or the position of the drone. It looks like it, it would not allow me to make any modifications while the active track is engaged. So I circled the, ve uh, the, the vessel in the coastal a few times. Again, uh, the part of the issue this day was that the wind was very gusty. I was concerned that the wind may be too much for the drone to, uh, to keep up with. But it had no problems, it would appear. Um, it's in a very stable flight path. It appears to have no problem at all keeping track of the boat as I run in a circle. Now heading back towards the dock. I originally was going to attempt a landing either on the back of the boat or to capture the drone at the back of the boat. But I wasn't quite ready. You're on the water, engaged with the boat, it's an issue unto itself, especially with the wind blowing. The drone as a factor I didn't want to begin with. So I decided I would try to land the drone on this uh, dock. It's actually a dilapidated, a dilapidated dock. Apparently there was a police officer watching me while I was doing some of this. You saw me get onto the dock upcoming scene came over to warn me that the dock was uh, very unstable. So you can look at my flag, look at that, the wind's just whipping. So I decide just to go ahead and creep up here next to the dock. Ah, I'll get over here where it's safe. I'll bring the drone on in close and I'll just uh, I'll land it. One of the things that I realized was that the sensors on the drone uh, will try to avoid crashing. The, the antennas on the boat, the motors, the, all that was going on was really causing the sensor to, uh, to react and to believe that there was hazards. Uh, here I am, I'm trying to get it, point it forward, it won't come. I'm concerned that there may be some challenges. You can see it, uh, the drone began to maneuver in an unpredictable way. 
So I looped it back around the side and jump off the boat. Watch it from the air. Stop. Thing looks right. About real quick. And there we go. Pull it on in. Now in this next flight, I decided to take the drone off from the front of the boat and learn from earlier efforts how to start the motors up without the application. The application has a launch button. I'm able to start the motors and I immediately shot it up uh, to try to avoid the, the drone hovering at an unpredictable level and encountering other problems. So once again, what I'm doing in this is uh, I took it up, uh, positioned the camera, got it pointed at the boat, went ahead and switched into active track mode. Uh, again, the, the roof of the boat makes it very easy to track the boat. That square seems to be right up the, uh, the tracking mechanism valley. One thing that's notable of today is the water. Um, interestingly, on most days in Fort Lauderdale, especially this far south, the water is never this clear. It looks beautiful. That whole day looks beautiful. And it was a beautiful day. A little, bit over, a little overcast, a little windy, but very nice. As you can see, the camera is, is following me. Now, in, in this time, it was interesting because the drone uh, it stayed back further. Uh, this is another occasion where I'm, I'm attempting to manipulate the controls of the drone to see if I can adjust the altitude or get it to catch up. I don't know whether it was a limitation of the mode it was in or if the wind was preventing it from catching up. But I, I had some challenges in this section with uh, getting the drone to stay as close to the boat I wanted. As I passed this other vessel, I was curious if the tracking mechanism would lose focus on my vessel and refocus on another. It didn't appear to, but again, this whole um, run, uh, the camera seems to be uh, lagging behind the boat quite a bit. I would much rather have it uh, a little bit closer. Here we go. Take it out of tracking mode, bring it up, fly it over. Attempting to bring it around to the front of the boat. Um, what I do next is I rotate the boat and drive towards it. As you can see, the camera manages to maintain its distance ahead of the boat as I drive towards it. I'm sure there's some other options that I can try or some approaches I can try. Uh, it's a profile shot with the camera will take to the side of the vessel or a, a shot where it stays in the front of the vessel when I drive towards it. This is another occasion, like I mentioned a moment ago, where the camera continued to, to be more distant than I wanted. So there's still a few 
control issues I need to, to sort out and try to figure out before I consider it uh, an understood part of the drone. So at this point, uh, the battery was getting a little bit lower. <clears throat> yeah. Tastes like this. Well, actually, let me back up just a tick. As you can see, the camera has stopped. And I'm heading back to the dock. Uh, not exactly sure why, uh, but it lost its tracking. I'm assuming it has to do with the distance uh, of the boat that the, that the drone was. So I loop back around. This time I, I, I when I loop back around I try to reposition the camera to correct the issue. I wanted to try to close that gap and get the camera to continue staying a little closer. Decided to move out of the way of the approaching vessel. Not exactly sure of the legal position regarding operating a boat and a drone simultaneously. I know in vehicles it's, it's not forbidden. It's not recommended unless you are in a place where you are not going to impact it. So as you can see, it, it, in this run, the camera once again stayed uh, relatively close. I, I don't do many uh, more changes to the drone other than to maneuver it in a few moments to land it. So lessons learned from this uh, is that we need to protect the, uh, the best launch location on the boat. I took off from the bow this last time, uh, which was pretty good. One concern is the front railing. It doesn't have a, a smooth launch if you impact the rail. I think that next time I may try to launch the drone from the back platform just in front of the motors the stern of the vessel. Now once again, what I'm doing, the reason I'm heading over here to the dock is that I'm concerned that the wind's going to blow me or some unpredictable condition will change while I'm attempting to uh, land the drone. So I maneuver over to a, a much smoother location. These trees provided a lot of shelter from the wind to stabilize the, uh, the drone's flight path. Okay, and with that, I'm bringing it in close. And again, the sensors began to, uh, to to go off as I get close. The drone just stops, and I realize it's going to be sketchy at best. So I managed to bring it in, grab it firmly. Motors are not happy, and shut her down. All in all. I think it was a very successful trial run. Drone is in one one piece. Boats in one piece. Very successful.